real barber should be able to cut anything that sits in their chair. It's not just men's hair, it's not just short hair, long hair, bobs, A-lines, like, if you're a good barber, you can do it all. My name is Justin King. Uh, I'm the owner of Brooks Traditional. I started this place actually, um, I've been cutting hair for a while and started my own shop actually three blocks up the street just as a one chair shop in a little tiny building. Uh, after a couple years being there, it was time to expand. I was turning too many people away. So we moved over here and opened up with three chairs. Uh, after another year, we were turning too many people away, so we added two more chairs. And after another year, we were still turning people away, so we opened up our second shop over on Southeast Division. We specialize in classic haircuts, uh, but we are, you know, our, our talents run the gamut. We do everything from, you know, the old traditional side parted prohibition era haircuts to uh, whatever, whatever modern haircuts are going on and everything in between. So I, I tried to pick only barbers who have had classic training. I pretty much scoured the city to find the best barbers that I could find. Black, white, gay, straight, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just want people I can cut hair the best. I'm a dad myself. I definitely get a lot of dad clients. <laughs> I get a lot of dad clients. That definitely want a haircut that doesn't make them look like a dad. <laughs> More natural haircuts. Um, something that like an everyday guy could just run his hair, like, fingers through his hair and call it good, but like still make it look like he spent a bunch of time doing it. I used to like tour with bands and all that, and it was fun, but moved to Portland to kind of go to school and go to college or something. And I did one semester and was like, well, I'm not doing that. And I got into a trade, and hair was like the first thing that came to mind because my best friend does it, and uh, I always, I always thought it was cool that he did it. I didn't think I could do it, and uh, I just signed up for a school, got into it, and uh, here I am. I'm Mikey Denton, and I'm a barber and manager of the Broadway location. Definitely do a lot of the whole Mad Men, like side part, you know, undercut, pompadours, you know, the hard part, shaved in, things like that. And I love doing those because they take a lot of detail, and it's basically like creating a piece of art. It's the real deal, yo! <laughs> like, there's no frills, no gimmicks. Like, I love this shop because it was like walking into my grandpa's barber shop. So anybody can come here and feel comfortable. They don't just feel like they need to dress up or be too stylish. You can bring your kids in here. It's a family place too. Like, it's not um, closed off to any type of person, you know? So I love that we get all different variety in here. And it's just your basic barber shop with good haircuts. I wanted the freedom to be creative and make money, which I did a lot of art and stuff growing up, and I was like, oh, I want to go to art school. But then it was like, graduate with the other million people that went to art school and then be like, how much in debt? So at beauty school, I could be done in two years, and I was out of debt within a year after. And it's always in demand. I've been doing it for almost 10 years now, and I still love it. My name is Kenzie Lee, and I'm a barber for Brooks Barbershop. <laughs> Uh, at the time that we did this, that there weren't any shops like this, and so Portland seemed like a you know promising community. They, uh, Portland is an artisan town, and uh, this is a craft that that we're practicing and that we're representing.